Amsterdam. It's a pretty liberal city known for its red light district. However, as the district has a strict no photography or filming policy, how is I going to take you guys along for the ride? Well, where there's a will, there's a way, and we got full access to a high-end working brothel right before it opened its doors for business. So, come along on this adventure as we take you behind the scenes to one of Amsterdam's most famous brothels. But first, breakfast. You know. So we have come to the Pancake Bakery because lots of the blog recommended this and also I've seen a lot of the vlogs and people were really really excited this was like the best pancakes in Amsterdam so I've gone for an apple cinnamon one and Lee has done like a veggie savoury one with chorizo cheese and tomatoes Feeling a little groggy today guys, not gonna lie Lee's feeling still a little bit high and just feel really sleepy and groggy Let's hope these pancakes bring us back to life We're gonna tuck in and enjoy these because we're running a little late for the next activity, so we'll see you there. On the ferry, and this is where we're going. Uh, we are going up there, up to the very top. Alright, let's do this, it's quite windy. Might have to take my hat off. For context, I had fallen off my bike numerous times on this trip. But anyway, we met up with our friend Tony and his lovely girlfriend Marika and we hit up NDSM's J. Holland Flea Market. It's five euro to enter and it's Europe's biggest flea market. So let's check One, it out. Two. Headed back into the pines where I can be the same It's a needle perched up in the sky where no one knows its name Get caught up in the airwaves, I get caught up in the noise Get caught up pleasing people till I don't recognize my voice Sign me up for a little piece of mind A wrinkle in time or a little piece of mind That was the J. Holland flea market. Just to let you know that they don't hit card at all. It's cash only. Me and Lee didn't have cash. Couldn't find the ATM. So Lee didn't get his sneakers. And it's mostly, there's a wee bit of furniture, but it's mostly clothing that you'll find there. So if you are a thrifter and you love a vintage store, you'll be in your element. But you need the patience of a saint to go through everything. It's, <laughs> then it's absolutely massive. But it's a lovely, lovely area around here by the sea. And now we're just gonna hop on the ferry back, get a coffee with Tony and Marika before the rain sets in. And then later, we're gonna go somewhere that we know, let's just say we're gonna go somewhere we wouldn't normally go. It'll be a first. So come and join us. We're doing plenty of firsts on this trip. We've come to Tour de Bonton, a famous high-end brothel in Amsterdam. And to protect the privacy of Angelina who works there, I've not filmed her face or recorded her voice, but I can relay some of the stories and information she shared with us. First, we were brought into the lounge area and offered a drink. Here, Angelina explained to us that this is where the girls dance, and if a gentleman wants to bring a girl upstairs, he must first buy her a bottle of champagne of which the girls make commission on. And then they'll have a conversation just to check if the vibe's right. The cheapest bottle is 300 euros and the most expensive is 3,000. And then for every hour upstairs, it's another 300. 
Now, due to COVID restrictions, Angelina couldn't personally walk us around each room upstairs, so we got full access to roam the upper floors and explore all by ourselves. There's QR codes in each of the rooms and you can scan these for more information. Once we'd finished upstairs, Angelina told us some pretty crazy stories about working in other brothels and she answered any questions we had with complete honesty and transparency. Fair play to Angelina though, she saved all her money from working here and started her own beauty company of which she is now the creative director and every now and again she likes to come back here because, well, she enjoys the work. Lastly, we finished up with one final epic photo op where we got to spin on the pole and fire a money gun. I was living my best Cardi B music video fantasy and I loved every second. Guys, it's absolutely lashing. Uh, that was the brothel tour with Angelina. It was really, really enjoyable. Now we're just gonna head somewhere and get some drinks because we have Tony's house party at eight o'clock. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna bring you guys with me because you know, you're at your friend's house. You probably doesn't want like people on YouTube to live where he lives. All right, let's go get some drinks. Alright guys, that's where we're going to call it a day on this video because I hadn't realised that my lens wasn't properly attached to my camera, so all the remaining footage came out like this. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the final video of my Amsterdam series where we go on a canal cruise and visit Anne Frank's house. Bye!